Hi everyone, I'm Weatherbug Meteorologist Miranda Hilgers back here with a look at your national forecast. We're tracking a very large Pacific storm here moving on to the northwestern coast, bringing along some wintry weather. And meanwhile, we've still got heat pushing east through the Midwest and into the Ohio Valley, temperatures trending well above average. On the satellite and radar picture, things very calm and quiet across much of the lower 48, but this is our monster coming on shore, this big area of low pressure circulating with that nice big comma cloud shape, bringing a lot of moisture into the Cascades, the Intermountain West, the Rockies as well. Ample moisture to work with coming straight off of the Pacific. So this area of low pressure is going to continue to kick up some storms as we go through the rest of today and even into tomorrow. Throughout the rest of the week, in fact, we're expecting some big snows for places out into the mountains. The Rockies, certainly going to see it least a dusting. The rain cast will be ample into Seattle with over an inch likely nearly two inches as possible into Portland with some mudslides and heavy rains likely here through the Cascade Range going to be kind of a mess and the snow cast as we go through the next few days ahead expect places near Jackson Hole out towards Yellowstone Wyoming and south of Billings to see as much as eight inches of snowfall here as we head through the rest of the week ahead in fact by Monday October 7th we could see that much so ski season certainly going to be underway here across the west winter weather advisories extend through the rest of Monday from Kalispell all the way down through into Haley Idaho where we could be seeing a nice hefty dose of snow above 8,000 feet as much as four to ten inches and winter weather Weather or winter storm warnings here through the Cascades, we could see as much as 10 to 20 inches of snow through our Monday there as well. Now in the future cast, the rain, the snow, the cloud cover continues to circulate here in the northwest. Meanwhile, the rest of us fairly dry. We're still tracking a little bit of unsettled weather down towards the Gulf Shores, but that's only going to really amp up to just a little bit of rainfall. And meanwhile, the heat really starts to build northward here through the next few days. This is a look at your temperature trend map, noticing we're well above average through the Midwest and into the Great Lakes with temps trending up near 80.